Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again. And uh, yeah, I done had a busy day today. Um, just finishing up everything. But uh, yeah, so I know some of you probably already seen it, but I'm doing my video on it. Um, Paul Alexander, our offensive line coach, has been fired. That experiment lasted seven weeks into the season. And in our bye week, I've already said that I know somebody was going to get let go. We just didn't know who. Now, when I saw the, um, while I was working, when I saw it pop up, I was like, <gasps> at first I was like, is it Jason Garrett? Then all of a sudden I seen the P. I was like, oh, that's Paul Alexander. But, but I called this because I had said in an earlier video, I said, Paul Alexander wasn't doing a damn thing for the offensive line. You already heard talks of, and I don't know, did, did I mention in the video? I got to go back and look at it myself, but I know I spoke to somebody about it. I actually heard myself somebody talking over her the conversation on Saturday when the players and staff was at the uh, um, the hotel before the Redskins game about how the offensive linemen were unhappy with their coach. Now, you got all pros on there. And, you know, granted, Travis Frederick is hurt still. I mean, not hurt, but, you know, because of his syndrome, still the situation is the same. You know, these guys have already said that, hey, we don't think Paul Alexander is doing a, doing a good job for us. We're just going to do us. We're going to do what we do, and we're going to try to help Connor Williams catch up. Now, the offensive um, line coach is is key right now because you got a young guy, you know, at, at that at that left at that left um, guard spot. Then you have you know different pieces at different places. You got Joe Looney at center. You know what I mean? Like taking over for Travis Frederick at this point. You know, like granted he's doing a good job, but again, they still need that coach to help with the scheming. Um, you know, with the pulling and all the things that they're doing on the offensive line. And again, um with the whole issues with Chaz Green and stuff, Paul Alexander wasn't helping much with that. But you can look at it like this. <sighs> he lasted a half a season. Um they basically um promoted Mark Colombo, which if you guys know, um, he was a tackle for us um, in his day. Um, Mark Colombo, I thought that Mark Colombo was going to get the job after we let go of Frank Pollock in the first place, but they went and got Paul Alexander. I had a feeling that it wasn't going to work out because you were with the Bengals for 23 years and they ain't really been doing much with their offensive line over the years either. You know what I mean? Because we kind of just swapped. Pollock went to the Bengals and Alec Alexander came to the Cowboys, but I, I had a feeling that that experiment wasn't going to last long. I look at it like this. Now that he's gone, Mark Colombo's in that spot. I'm so happy for Mark Colombo. I think that he's going to do well. First of all, he knows these guys very well. He played right before these guys. Um, he was the generation before these guys. So, um, you know, Doug Free played a little bit with him. So you look at, you look at what we have right now. I think that um, they're going to fare better with Colombo anyway. Now, they also hired Hudson Houck. Now, if you know Hudson Houck, he was an offensive line court, um, offensive line coach for us in the past. He, he has offensive line experience all up and down his resume. So, you know, having him come in to help Colombo, he basically going to be an assistant to Mark Colombo to help him um, become a better offensive line coach. You know what I mean? Because as a player, you know, transitioning to coach sometimes may seem like it's easy, but it's not always easy. So, you know, we they, they have confidence that Mark Colombo can do the job, but they're just going to bring Hudson Houck in there just to add some extra security for him as far as, you know, making sure that, um, He's doing what he can do, um, and that's going to help him tremendously. So I'm I'm happy with what they did with that, um, letting Paul go. Because again, you know, halfway through the season, we seen the offensive line not hold up, and offensive line has always been one of our strengths since um, Tyron Smith and Zach Martin and um, um, Travis Frederick have been on the team. You know, because those are your all pros. So with that being said, y'all, like I, I just feel like. Um, I don't know, almost like a bird lifted off. Now, if we could just get rid of this coach, we'll be good. <laughs> so, it's the bye week still. Um, it's Monday. I think the players don't come back till tomorrow. Um, let's see what, what happens. You know what I mean? Like, um, there might be still some things coming down the line. There might be still some trades coming down the line. We don't know. But the trade deadline is tomorrow. So, um, whatever they're going to do, they're either going to do it today or by 3 p.m. tomorrow. 
but I don't think they're going to really do anything. Um, I still haven't heard word about Obi Melifonwu signing. They'll probably make that exchange tomorrow um, when everybody gets back to the office and back as work as usual. So we'll see what happens. So the players are, you know, finishing their rehab and doing their thing. So um, that's that. Um, so again, Paul Alexander's fired. We got Mark Colombo in there, and Hudson Houck is going to be his assistant. So that's just one of a few um, changes they have made so far. So I'm just looking forward to to, to Monday, um, Monday Night Football when we play the Titans, and um, I'm looking forward to unwrapping that Christmas present, which is Amari Cooper. Hopefully that they can do the things um, right by him, and hopefully we can call the right plays. And I'm just I'm just looking forward to that. I'm trying to stay optimistic, but I'm I'm loving that Alexander is gone because again, when you got all pros like that complaining about their coach, you already know it's an issue, and 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 you don't need that, especially with the offensive line that we've had, and you know they've been dominant. But this year we just haven't been the same. You know, granted, like I said, Travis Frederick being out, but again, Joe Looney's doing what he can. That. Connor Williams hasn't been terrible. You know what I mean? Like he's been out muscled a couple of times, but you gotta understand you're a rookie coming into the league with these guys that you've you've never gone against guys of this caliber before. I mean, he's held his own on some things, but again, I think in the off season, once he starts getting bulked up and um, you know, he's able to um work on his technique more, I think he's gonna be good in that spot. Me personally, I wouldn't move him. You know, everybody kept talking about him moving and 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 um and Lyle Collins going back to the guard position. And again, we know that Lyle was a beast where he was before. But again, he's been playing this last season and this season. So just let it be at this point. I mean, because you don't want to keep making changes on your offensive line. The more and more you keep making changes on your offensive line, the worse things get. So again, it's not like they've been terrible. They've been, they, they haven't been great, but they haven't been terrible. But you got to keep building on what you have. You understand what I'm saying? So with that... Um, I feel like if they just keep building on what they have right now and just work on it, I think it'd be great. Um, well, definitely in the, in, in, in the next draft, we need to get a young guy in there, somebody to spell Tyron Smith. Um, we don't know what's going to happen with um, uh, Travis Frederick going forward. Might have to get another center. Um, but, and again, that's off season talk. I mean, we can always get some free agents when that comes along. So with that being said, y'all, um, like, share, comment. It's your boy E2 Blue. Always keeping it real. <laughs> Paul Alexander. <laughs> talk to y'all soon.